achieve greatness. But in order to do that, we have to make good decisions, take care of one another, set high goals, take responsibility for our future, and learn from our past. The presentation you are about to see takes a realistic look at college life and some of the situations in which you may find yourselves. It looks at some of the mistakes that people have made in the past. It doesn't sugarcoat life on campus, but instead it gives you choices and resources to help you be your best. Some of the language isn't pretty. In fact, some of the language is offensive. Some of the situations are hard to listen to. Some of them are frightening and enraging. But we believe in our community. We believe in our ability to achieve extraordinary things. In the end, addressing these issues in language will make us stronger and better equipped to be our best selves. College is where you develop into the person you'll be for the rest of your life. Listen to the next presentation with an open mind. Think about what you want your experience and your reputation to be while here at Centenary. Commit to your goals and your future. Strive to be your best. It's time for you to decide who you will be. Welcome to Centenary. We are the gents and the ladies of Centenary College of Louisiana. You have now joined our ranks. You are now a part of something bigger than yourselves. You are a part of the Centenary tradition. We encourage a lifelong dedication, not only to learning, but also to serving others. We, we strive to overcome ignorance and intolerance, to examine ideas critically, to provide an understanding of the forces that have influenced the past drive the present and shape the future. We, we will work, work to cultivate integrity, intellectual and moral courage, responsibility, fairness, and compassion. We, we are challenged to appreciate the diversity of human cultures, to respect the value of artistic expression, and to recognize the importance of a healthy mind and body and the interdependence of people and the environment. As, As new members, members of the Centenary family, you will find yourself in a rich and social intellectual atmosphere. A, a strong, strong community. community. We have the privilege of a world-class education, coupled with personalized and distinctive experiences. Together, we will build lives of integrity. We will explore the unfamiliar, invent new approaches to understanding, and connect our work with the world at large. You stand at the cusp of your still <laughs> unimagined future. Your journey begins now. We, we are Centenary College of Louisiana. The ladies and the gents. Your transformation begins now. These are our values. This is our vision, our hope, our dream. But we have to work to attain it. It is our responsibility to uphold the values of Centenary College. Our responsibility. Your responsibility. In the classroom, on the field, in the residence halls, and in your labs. In our clubs and organizations. In our friendships and community. Everywhere, the Centenary community is our responsibility. And you're a part of it. So what will you choose? As a member of Centenary College, your words matter. Your actions matter. Your behaviors matter. Your attitudes matter. Your voice matters. Your values matter. You matter. Even here, where we strive to overcome ignorance and intolerance, we don't always remember to be respectful. Will you? We don't always remember we are impacting the centenary family. We all make mistakes. We sometimes forget to be our best selves. Too often our words are spoken with hate, not love. Fear, not, not understanding. understanding. Cynicism, not hope. Exclusion, not inclusion. Too often our words are spoken without thinking about the damage they could do. The pain they could cause. You've heard the words we're talking about. The words that echo in your ears. Words. 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 Black, rich, queer, bitch, asshole, ho, skinhead, beaner, coonass, dick, spit, cheek, fag, redneck, whore, nerd, boot, slut, gay, pothead, stoner, cracker, retard, hunger, slut, snob, lesbo, white star, fat, retard, midget, fat, Words. 
Words that could cause pain. Words that lead to judgment. Words that cause fear. Words that lead to hate. Words that lead to violence. Pain. pain. Loneliness. Suicide. Murder. Suffering. Crime. Death. War. War. Words with power. Words that have the power to stunt your confidence. Whore. Words that forge attitudes and actions. Retard. That cause some doubt. That ass. That make you not want to try new things. Loser. That paralyze you with fear. Faggot. That sting you to the core of your soul. Bitch. That you never forget. Words. 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 Watch your words. Your words become your actions. Watch, Watch your actions. Your actions become your habits. Watch, Watch your, your habits. habits. Your habits become your character. Watch, Watch your character. And your character becomes your destiny. What will your words say about you? Even here, where we are challenged throughout our education to think, listen, comprehend, interpret, and synthesize ideas. We don't always value this opportunity we have been given. Will you? Will you grasp this opportunity for an education that so few in the world have access to? This education that will change your life. Open your mind. Open, Open doors. doors. Open, Open possibilities for your future. How will you embrace this opportunity to learn? Our faculty are experts in their fields. Dedicated teachers and scholars. They deserve our attention. Our participation. Our respect. We deserve to give our best effort. To learn, to think, to grow, to, to be, be challenged. challenged. And on a basic level, there are things we can do to create an environment where everyone can give their best, be their best. Show up on time. If you're late to your job, you could be fired. Don't text in class. Put your phone away for an hour. You wouldn't be texting while your boss was talking to you. Come prepared. Do your reading. Being a student is your job right now. Treat it that way. Look at each assignment as more than a grade. Look at it as a chance to learn, a chance to push yourself, a chance to succeed. Look at each professor as more than the person who gives you a grade. Look at them as a mentor and a resource. Speak to them with respect. Email them with respect. Grasp the opportunity to build a future for yourself. To make yourself proud. Being your best doesn't just apply to academics. College is much more than what you learn in the classroom. Every situation gives you the chance to define who you are and what you stand for. Even here, where we cultivate integrity, intellectual, and moral courage, we sometimes make mistakes. Will you? College is about growth and, and change, change and, and challenge. And it's about taking responsibility for your actions. All your actions. It's about understanding that every decision has a consequence. Every, every decision. decision. He left his door unlocked, and now I've got a new iPad and a criminal record, and I probably won't graduate. It was stupid. I knew better than to leave my purse in the car where it could be seen. I have a busted window, and I gotta cancel my credit cards, get a new driver's license, buy a new cell phone. What will you choose? My roommate took the same class last year, so I turned in her old paper. I didn't have time to write it. I made a few changes, and I really didn't think it was that big of a deal. But I was brought up before the honor court. Now I've got an F, and I lost my scholarship. I didn't do any reading for the semester, so now I'm fucked for this final. I'm gonna have to take this whole class again. What will you choose? I remember thinking how beautiful the campus was when I first came to visit, but people leave water bottles, Coke cans, and food wrappers all over the place. I didn't think we'd get caught. We were just goofing off. But now we've been charged with vandalism. It was just a couple of broken windows. We didn't mean for it to go that far. What will you choose? I didn't know whether to say something or not. All the other guys thought it would be so funny to dress up in blackface and act our wigs for the Halloween party. Now our fraternity is being investigated and everyone thinks that we're racist. My roommate isn't doing well. She's obsessed with how she looks and she works out all the time. She either doesn't eat anything or she eats everything in sight. She thinks I don't notice what I do. I'm pretty sure she has an eating disorder and I'm not really sure what to do to help her. What will you choose? He seemed like a nice guy. Man, she was bad. I had way too much to drink. I didn't want to have sex with him. And you know she was feeling me for it. I told him no multiple times, but it happened anyway. Man, we were so drunk. I can't believe this happened. I never want to see him again. And you'll know she wants to see me again this weekend. I 
was raped. What will you choose? All of our actions have consequences. All of our words matter. What will your actions say about you? What will your words be? Even here, where we value human diversity in all its richly complex and multifaceted forms, we don't always succeed. Will you? Sometimes our words and actions lead to horrible situations. And unfortunately, it's happening everywhere. On college campuses across the country, incivility is turning to hate. And simple words are leading to violent actions. It's become the background noise of college life. Just something that happens. Just background noise. At Rutgers University in New Jersey, freshman Tyler Clementi was secretly filmed having a sexual encounter with another man. The video was streamed over the internet. Three days later, Tyler killed himself by jumping off a bridge. At DePaul University in Indiana, 23 members of the sorority were executed for Sorry. At San Francisco State during a peace in Israel rally, groups of students warned several Jewish attendees, some of them survivors of death camps, and screamed, Hitler didn't finish the job! I hate your race. I want you all to die. Several fraternities with the sororities for a yellow party for white students dressed as Hispanic Americans and sororities with the slave auction as a fundraiser. At Georgia Southern University, the gay straight the Alliance recently did a no hate event where they had their mouths taped to represent those who can't speak up against hate. And a student responded by saying, All queers should have their mouths duct taped all the time, so we don't have to listen to that. Unsigned letter, this is a white academy in a white town in a white country, and my God is going to stay that way, nigga, bitch! This doesn't have to happen here. Not in our house. We can be better. We can do better. This doesn't have to happen here. Martin Luther King Jr. in his letter from Birmingham Jail said that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. Whatever affects one person affects us all. all. And we will work together to be better, to do better. Even here, where it is an expectation that we will hold each other accountable and push each other to be our best. We sometimes don't know what to say or what to do. When we, some, when we see something that's happening that we know is wrong, will you? They didn't mean anything by it. They were kidding. I didn't know what to say. It's just a joke. I was afraid to speak up. Everyone says it. Get over it. It's not a big deal. What will you do? Who will you be? Being a member of the community means speaking out or standing up when an injustice occurs. Albert Einstein said, the world is a dangerous place to live. Not because of the people who are evil, but because of the people who don't do anything about it. Don't be silent. Speak out. Speaking out doesn't always mean confronting the person or the group. Sometimes it just means offering your support and friendship to the person who was hurt. Speaking out also means reporting incidents that you know have happened. Tell your RA. Talk to a professor. Go to the counseling center. Uphold the honor code. Tell someone. Tell, Tell someone. someone. We can't assume that another person will take care of it. We can't assume that another person will speak up. We can't wait for another person to stand up. We must be that person. If not you, then who? First, they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. I heard them yell faggot at those guys, but they were just messing around. Then, they came for the trade unionists. And I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. I see my roommate going out with boys and wearing slutty clothes all the time. She's definitely asking for it. Then they came for the Catholics. And I did not speak out because I was not a Catholic. I say the word nigga all the time. My black friends say it's okay. And honestly, if they don't want us to say it, why do they? Then they came for the communists. And I did not speak out because I was not a communist. I haven't met the guy across the hall yet, but I always hear him talking on the phone in Spanish. My roommate says he must be a fucking wetback. Then, they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. Pastor Martin Niemöller, Nazi concentration camp survivor. I wish someone had spoken up for me when I was called a faggot, slut, nigger, wetback. You have the power to decide what kind of community we have at Centenary, 
you can use your influence, your friendship, your voice, your values to, to make, make a, a difference. difference. Will you? Throughout history, it has been the inaction of those who would have acted, the indifference of those who should have known better, the silence of the voice of justice when it mattered most that has made it possible for evil to triumph. Haile Selassie. We know better. We are better. So here, where we strive to encircle the world with wise, caring, moral leaders, we will challenge ourselves and each other. We will pursue greatness. We will celebrate our differences and learn from one another. We won't always agree, but we will work to be respectful. We will value one another. And we will embrace our centenary college experience. We'll take advantage of everything college has to offer. Will you? Your next four years start now. What, what will, will you, you do? To embrace this experience? To create your future? Be a leader. Attend a convocation. Go support our athletes. Rack up on passport points. Join an organization. Write an article for the conglomerate. Volunteer. Volunteer. Be a mentor. Work to earn a maroon jacket as a senior. Vote. Recycle. Get an internship. Try out Greek recruitment. Take, Take care of one another. Go to the fitness center. Participate in the big event. Be, Be yourself. yourself. Try something new. Study abroad. Think before you act. Represent your class as an SGA senator. Get involved. Find, Find your passion. passion. Give back. Get to know Shreveport. Get a slice of pie from Strawn's. Go see a movie for free at the Robinson downtown. Cool down with the Humphrey from Counterculture. Eat spaghetti at Mia's. Live your life instead of tweeting your life. Be more than just your likes on Instagram. Find, Find your, your voice. voice. Be yourself. This is your time. This is your place. This, this is, is your, your time. time. This, this is, is your place. place. We are the gents and the ladies of Centenary College. You are one of us. And, and you. And you. And you. And you. You must be the change you wish to see in the world. Mahatma Gandhi. The change on our campus. The change in ourselves. The change begins here. The change begins now. Who, Who will you be? be?